Yo, what up, Bat Gang? This is Neek, and this is Bat Cave Gaming. Welcome, you guys, back to another gameplay. This is episode three of the Modern Warfare 3 Farewell Tour. So it is back, and this time we're going to be talking about the perks in Modern Warfare 3. So me, personally, I thought the perks in Modern Warfare 3 were the best out of all the Call of Duty games I played, which is Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3. Okay, so let's get started on the perk slot one. I wanted to highlight the perks that I thought were really good in this slot. Obviously, sleight of hand was the best one, you know, the typical thing. But the pro version of it I liked a lot because switching from your primary to your secondary was crazy good. Because if you go back and play another Call of Duty, like older ones, swapping from your primary to your secondary kind of was a little slow and sometimes it get you killed. The next thing in this slot that I liked a lot was Recon. And Recon Pro so I would always get Recon Pro and I got I got it in drop zone all the time just if I had to level it up after I prestige but it is the best perk if you are a, if you use specialists a lot um, get one bullet on somebody and you don't get to finish them off you can see on the map exactly where they're at so I like Recon Pro and Slide Hand Pro in this game a lot so check this out blind eye I did not have any problems with. I know a lot of people had problems with Blind Eye, but not me. Extreme Conditioning Pro and Extreme Conditioning was bad in this game, in my opinion. You can't run forever. It was hard to make it pro. It sucked, in my opinion. And finally, in Perk Slot 1, there was Scavenger. You know, you reload, you replenish your ammunition, which is a typical thing. Um, it was okay. Not much to be said about that. In Perk Slot 2. So the one that everyone obviously used all the time was Assassin and Assassin Pro. So we all know about that. Um, you pretty much, you're pretty much immune to everything if you have Assassin Pro. Um, you know, EMPs were overpowered, but Assassin Pro made them less overpowered, I would say, even though they're still overpowered. Um, Perk Slot 2 had some pretty good perks. I thought there was three ones that were obviously good. Quick Draw, Hardline, and Assassin. Blast Shield and Blast Shield Pro annoyed me to death. Overkill and Overkill Pro. I don't know really anybody who used it like consistently uh, because the secondaries in this game are just as good as using a primary. Um, so that's whatever. Hardline Pro, that's the second perk I use the most um, just because, you know, get assist, throw a stun somewhere. And that's two kill. That's a kill streak for you, right there. One point to your kill streak. But the most underrated one in Perk Slot Two is definitely Quick Draw Pro. I know a lot of people use it. Um, I didn't use it that much, but I did like just the fact that I can pull up my gun faster and throw my grenades a lot faster and use my grenades a lot faster. So in Perk Slot Two, I think it was really balanced in the perks. In Perk Slot Three, this is probably the ones that I said had the best perks all around every perk in here is good to me so first there's marksman I didn't get it pro because I wasn't a sniper but it's just nice to being able to see someone's like name above their head when you're aiming down sights or you know that stuff so they just kind of pop and you can get your target on a little bit faster even though sometimes I know people would shoot above or shoot at the name instead of the name is above the person so you kind of have to know how to aim when you're using marksman stalker pro i think this was a really good perk in mono for three but the game was so laggy that it was kind of imbalanced if you could say because if you're lagging and you're using stalker pro the person trying to kill you is going to lag or you're going to lag and not hit them so i don't know it was it's a good perk i love the perk but the implementation in, of the game kind of made it a little rusty the next one sit rep Sit Rep Pro. Uh, Sit Rep Pro was crazy overpowered. Not many people use it on X or on PS3 as Xbox, so it's not as overpowered on PS3. Steady Aim, Steady Aim Pro. I love that you can ready your weapon a lot faster after you sprint. Tell me what you guys think of the perks. I kind of think they split normal things into perks like they shouldn't have between Pro and the non-Pro versions. But overall, the perks in Modern Warfare 3 were great. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.